Stay tuned and watch how I got myself into some hot water on our last trip. After a really long day, you'd like to do nothing more than just to take a nice, long, hot shower. Have you ever wondered why in your RV that your water either goes cold or you have to take those military-style showers? You know, the ones that you have to turn the shower on and off and on and off in between your lathering and washing your hair and things like that because if you don't, it's going to go cold. The only way that you're going to get a nice, long, hot shower is you're going to have to go down to the shower house at your campground. And if you buy your rig and you do like me, you want to take your shower and your rig because that's what you bought it for. So here are the reasons why you can't take a nice long hot shower in your RV. For one, in my experiences, my rig has a six gallon hot water tank. On average, a person is going to use about five gallons of hot water in order to take a nice long hot shower. Now that's if you go really fast and you're turning the water on and off. Now if you're going to go for a nice full long hot shower, you're going to use anywhere around about 10 gallons of hot water. So the hot water tank on this RV is heated up by two different ways. Either an electrical element, a heating type rod that goes into the hot water tank that keeps the water hot, or a flame up underneath that is ran by propane. In order to keep it really nice and hot and to get a nice long hot shower, you need a third component. You need it to be about 180 degrees outside to include your propane and your electric running all at the same time. To combat this is to go to a different type of shower head that will reduce the amount of water that you are using. How does this happen? Well, they introduce oxygen into the water that does a few different things. For one, you have a little more pressure coming out. Two, you're gonna restrict the amount of water usage. Now to do that, you have to get this type of shower head that I have. It's a shower head made by Oxygenics. What it does is it injects oxygen into the water that gives you more pressure and restricts the flow a little bit. By doing that, it reduces the amount of hot water that you're using. So therefore, it keeps your hot water coming to you just a little bit longer. Now recently, we were on a trip where it was really hot outside. It was about 93 to 95 degrees outside with the humidity really, really high. In the evenings, it wasn't really cooling off a lot. So on a hot day like that, and run into propane and run electricity and having the oxygenic shower head i was able to take a full length shower now i was the only one able to take a shower at that time unless we wanted to wait about an hour in between each individual taking a shower so what they ended up having to do is going down to the shower house now like i said before there is an option you can go to a propane heated only tankless water heater they run on propane all the time when you turn your water on and you're demanding hot water, you get hot water the whole time. Yes, full length showers, nice and hot all the time. But it does run only on propane, no electricity whatsoever, which is not bad if you're gonna go boondocking. So if you're like me, most of the time, we're parked at a campground which is gonna have sewer hookup, but there are other options. You can hook up a portable tank, drain your rig, carry it to the dump station, dump it and bring it back and you'll be just fine. If you're gonna stay hooked up in a campground that has full sewer hookups, or what they call full hookups, then you'll be just fine. Just remember this, that your gray tank is the one that's gonna be filled up when you take those nice long hot showers. Now your black tank is gonna be filling up as well with that black waste. It is very important that when you dump your black waste that you have some gray water available so that you can flush out that hose, keep it somewhat cleaner, so that you can handle it without all that extra black water waste. So keep that in mind as you manage your waste systems. If you're interested in any of the products, the tankless hot water heater, the oxygen shower head, the portable tank that you can drain all your waste into to carry it somewhere else to dump, take a look below in the description and I've listed all those items. Thank you for watching. So until the next time when we meet, have a beautiful day. Thank you.